Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to Islamic Caster video tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll go over the main aspects of the application. In the main view, you're presented with the next adhan and how much time is left till that adhan. It also presents how much time is left until the iqama when necessary. At the bottom, you have the timeline where you can see the duration of each prayer. You can also see the last third of the night. In the next view, we're going to see the radio. The radio is based on an internet stream of many Qurras. Simply selecting one of the channels will turn the radio on. Finally, we have the news feed which is pulled directly from our Twitter account. To access the navigation menu, simply tap or drag the top left button. You are then presented with this menu. Let's check out the prayers view. The prayers view first shows you the daily prayers, where you can see how much time has elapsed since the Adhan, or how much time is left. You can also switch the notifications on and off in this view. To switch to the month view, simply swipe the view or tap the icons in the top. To change the month, simply swipe at the top bar. Similarly, you can change the days by swiping at the top bar. Let's go back to the navigation menu. Next, we'll look at the calendar. This is a Hajri calendar where you can change the months by swiping at the top bar and you can go back to today by tapping the first button. Each cell that has the page flipped with a number means that there are events for that day and you can browse all events by pressing the second button at the top. Now we're gonna see the Tathkir and Adhkar view. First you are presented with the Adhkar view where you can see different Adhkars from Quran and Sunnah and you can also share them via Facebook or Twitter. To access the menu, simply tap the bar at the top. The Tathkir view is a very convenient way to remind ourselves of regular occurrences such as reading Surat Al-Kahf every Friday. You can even choose when the alarm should remind you of such events. Next we'll see the settings. In the settings, you can set the Hijri calendar or simply choose the autofix feature which will autofix the Hijri offset by checking the data on our server. Now we'll look at the location settings. In the location settings, you can either select to auto detect your location or choose your location manually by swiping through the map. Simply press set and your location will be fetched from the internet if you're connected. Now we're gonna see the iqama. The iqama is simply choosing how much time the app should display a prayer after the advanced time has passed. Choosing Iqama time for 30 minutes, for example, will make the application show Maghrib prayer for 30 minutes after the Adhan, before switching to the next prayer. We finally have the Contact Us view. In the Contact Us view, you first select the type of feedback that you would like to give us, and then if you would like us to reply to your message, please provide your email. Finally, type your message and press the Done button at the top right. All feedback are welcome and we really hope that you found this tutorial useful.